Rokuro, how do you think Shigure will move against us? He's not really the imaginative type. He'll be out in the open, waiting for us. For a flanking attack. We don't need to worry about an ambush. I'll finish this quick. Shigure is waiting for us ahead. Just 
Be proud. You made me unleash my full power. Waiting for us here? Rokuro? It's okay. Incredible. The old bastard forged himself into a sword. Indeed. That blade's the embodiment of Kurogane's centuries of study. The Kurogane Stormquell. I like it. Just Kurogane for now. He will be the blade that surpasses both Stormquell and Stormhell. And when it does, then he will have earned the name Kurogane Stormquell. Ah oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Sorry to keep you waiting. Watch out. I wouldn't be surprised if he used an Armatus. An Armatus? It's not my style to rely on anyone's help. Ha! <laughs> Says the big bad exorcist. Look, you'll even ask a tubby kitty for help. Shut up! I'm totally not! He isn't. Quite the opposite, actually. Shigure asked me to restrain his power. Restrain his power? Wait, you don't mean... She does. It's for my training. At first, I could barely even move my little finger. Morgrim, release my bindings. human even be this strong? Kitty Wampus was holding him back? With enough will, humans can do anything. This was to be my secret weapon against Artorius. I'm impressed. Rokuro! Sorry, but we're pitching in. Good. I'll take you all at once. Forget about fighting fair! You won't beat me unless you use everything you've got! I know. All too well. Alright. Let's have some fun. Give Got it. 
Round 1013, begin! Seriously, you're still counting? Only because they were all losses. But that ends today! For what? Now, rise, arise, ascending, angels! It'll be the same every time! <laughs> so you can handle my attacks now! This is where the fight truly begins, Shigura! What do you know? I totally agree. <laughs> Something, aren't you? Don't act like you're impressed. I haven't even shown you my true blade. Your true blade? Well then, no time for me to take a break. Shigure! Keep out of this one, Morgrim. He's still got plenty of power left. Of course he does. He's Shigurai Rangetsu, after all. Two blades, you sure? Why don't you find out? It's your life on the line. The same goes for you. This is your true blade. That's right. I developed this technique to defeat you. Not bad at all. This is my parting gift to Kurogane. Take Stormhowl. 
One last thing. Please, let this fat cat go. Shigure? Shigure, you were ordered to be executed because I... I was already planning on leaving. I was sick of living the life of a chained dog. Stop worrying about the little things. Rejoice when your blade finds its mark. Seethe when it doesn't. Die when one finds you. That's all there is to it. The way of the sword is a simple one. That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> That's the vicious face I'm looking for. If only Artorius's stony face could smile like that, he'd be a lot happier. Yeah. Velvet. We're good? We're good. My blade found its mark. matter? Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Okay. <laughs> okay? Is that all you have to say? What's wrong? You really are crying. You and Shigure. Your brothers, but... Oh, that. It's really nothing to shed tears over. <laughs> How can you pretend it's not important? Don't tell me it's because you're a demon. You went and answered your own question. So you will say it's because you're a demon? No, that's not the answer, actually. It's not because I'm a demon. It's because we're swordsmen that I'm not sad. Huh? When we fought, when we both really fought, I got this sharp, vivid feeling that pierced straight to my core. When we were both throwing ourselves wholly into the battle, we wanted to keep on fighting forever like an unquenchable thirst. That's a feeling we only got from each other. Lord Shigure did seem to be enjoying himself. I feel like I can understand it a little better now. <laughs> but I'll never comprehend it. That's for the better. If you did, you'd end up like us. <laughs> Probably so. I wonder when I'll be able to have a match like that again. You won't have to worry about that. Hmm? Just as you worked so hard to defeat Lord Shigure, Another swordsman will do the same to defeat you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Your positivity reminds me of him. Now I'm suddenly craving a cup of Yozakura Anmitsu. Yozakura Anmitsu? Cherry blossom flavored sweet bean paste, black sesame ice cream and fruit. It was Shigure's favorite. Hmm. That's kind of hard to picture, but I'd like to try it. Let's settle then. When this is all over, I'll take you out for some. I look forward to that. Then make sure you come back alive, all right? You too, Rokuro. Yozakura Anmitsu. I won't forget. If you want to leave now, Rokuro, I won't stop you. Don't forget. My purpose here is to repay my debt to you. Our scout ship has returned! Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. It worked! Huge success! Good luck out there. Don't come back empty-handed. Scout ship setting sail.
You should get out of here while you still have the chance. If things get hairy, I'll run. But please, let me stay here a little longer. I owe Shigure for giving me back my free will. And he always did hate to be alone. I never knew that. You didn't? Weren't you his brother? We never had time to think about anything other than our training. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any insult. He lived and he died according to his own beliefs. That has to be good enough. Humans like that are not so bad. I suppose we aren't. You're a funny sort of Moloch, aren't you? Thanks for the compliment. Kokoro, you said something to him at the end. To Shigure? Yeah. Maybe it's not my place to ask, but... I don't mind. It was just something that happened long ago. The story about Shigure plotting to overthrow our lord. That was a lie. A lie that I spread. But why... I wanted a just cause to strike him down. Storm Howl, Shigure's name, the leadership of the clan. I used to want all of that for myself. Do you regret it? Not at all. Besides, Shigure figured it out a long time ago. But really, I don't know what made me think I had the strength to defeat him back then. He was truly strong. Of course he was. He was the head of the Rangetsu family. The strongest warriors in all the land. Rokuro, does this make you head of the clan now? No. I'm a demon. And more importantly, all I ever wanted was to beat my brother. That's enough for me. No, it's Torrid! Wait, no! It's hot! Can you please stop making a fuss? Anyone who can keep their cool inside a volcano needs their head examined! I can feel the power of the Earth Pulse flowing upward. This is the life spring. That's odd. Melchior isn't here. Have you devoured even Shigure, Lord of Calamity? But remember, the only exorcists whose souls are worthy of sacrifice are Shigure, Oscar, Teresa, and me! He's above us, at the volcano's peak. We three souls who can only awaken three Empyreans! That won't be enough to seal Inominat's power! If you are missing even one, awakening them will cause this volcano to explode, with you inside it! If you seek to awaken all four elemental Empyreans, then come! Try and take my soul from me! What do you think, Magilu? Trap. Melchior's greatest strength lies in his power over ice. I only wish we could lure him down here. But we dare not forget. He's an exorcist who spent years plotting to awaken an Ominat. Exactly. He could be capable of anything. It'd be dangerous to assume otherwise. Maybe this is the wrong time, but Magilu, you're related to Melchior, right? You'd better believe it's the wrong time. 
Long ago, I was Magilani Kalu Maven, Melchior's foster daughter, and before I was cast out, his disciple. Magilanika? The, the lost legate! Huh. So even after ten years, my name still lives on. I'm impressed. You must have commanded a lot of respect. Not in the least. The relationship between Melchior and I was like that between Velvet and Artorias. The debts owed, and the grudges held. Velvet, you don't have to believe me. You may never believe me. But I tell you now, I want to settle my- I don't much care about the affairs of a witch, now do I? I'm going to the peak to find him. Just doing what I want, like always. Yep, that's right. And I'm going with you, like always. Piece of cake, it's a cinch, piece of cinch. It's scorching, it's freezing, it's scorching. What are you muttering about? You told me to chill out when I complained about the heat. Is that still bothering you? I heat up quickly and cool down slowly. I'm not bothering anyone, so go on, get lost! That's even more annoying. I mean, come on, if it's both hot and cold, it's not scoresing. It's freaking, clearly. That doesn't sound like me at all. Wait, that's not even my point! My skin feels like a frozen shell, but somehow my insides are boiling! This is miserable! It should be one or the other. I can't stand this fence-sitting! Oh? So what about the pineapple and sweet and sour pork? House! A sweet omelet? A crime against nature. Chocolate-covered raisins? Whoever thought of dried grapes should be hanged! Well then, what about peach pie? I don't see what you're getting at! What about yourself? Utterly vile. Doesn't that make you a fence-sitter? That's why I'm having you eat that old man and shove him into the life spring. I hope you learn to like yourself. Try to embarrass me.